Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Welcome to the What If series, an experimental series where I cheat a little bit to show you impossible and very overpowered enchantment combos. I bet you're all very curious how Triple Prospector, heck Quadruple Prospector would work on a weapon, and what about 4 times Luck of the Sea on armor? Well, in this series I do exactly that. Showcase combos which are not possible to get your hands on in the game, so let's check them out right now. This video was made for showcase purposes only. All items are destroyed in the end. No ocelots were harmed while making this video. I cannot say the same for the zombies. I don't encourage cheating as it can ruin your game. Trading modded items can get you banned. Croissant, baguette, saucisson, that's all. Alright so guys, welcome back to my base camp. Today we're gonna talk about another very overpowered enchantment combo, which is impossible to get your hands on in the game. So we already checked out a very overpowered piece of armor with quadruple luck of the sea to get your hands on as many uniques as possible and also a diamond sword with quadruple prospector. Those were already great fun but right now it's time for a ranged weapon. So behold the harp crossbow. Chance for multi shot four times built in on this bad boy so yes we'll be able to shoot tons and tons of arrows, hit our enemies like a truck. So before we get started, you want to know what multi shot is? Well, this one grants the chance to fire five arrows at once. On the maximum tier, this has a 40% chance to trigger. So you would say if you have this four times enchanted, that would mean a 160% chance to trigger, right? But maybe it works just a little bit different. How about four times 40% chance to trigger? So you actually have the chance to let it pop up four times with one single shot. That would be pretty impressive, right? Well, we're gonna check it out right now. So first off, I wanna just equip this hard crossbow without any enchantments. Already has a built-in tier three multi-shot. So that means it can already shoot many arrows. So if you shoot the target every four seconds, you can tell that it shoots many of them. The multi-shot will always pop up right there. If we just stand back a little bit, you'll be able to see a little bit easier easier how many arrows pop up. Wow man, there's so many of them. Look at this, this was the maximum right there, times five multi shots. so that is pretty impressive. Um, I think we should add in another enchantment guys, so we can see even more arrows popping up, so um, I am really curious about this one. So right now it just said times two. Then we have a time seven, so yes, guys, this definitely stacks. Oh boy, what about double multi shot? Actually, triple in total right now. So right now we get a times four, a times 11. Oh, wait a second, we actually have to wait a little bit for it to go away. So right now we see a times four right there. Let's uh, wait a second. That's a times five. I think they definitely add up because right now we see so many arrows. This is a times seven. Okay, time for the last year, guys. Wow, this is so crazy. I can't wait to check it out with the Thundering Quiver, the Torment Quiver, and also the Fireworks Quiver, which we're going to do in a second. But uh, right here, we already see a times seven pop up. Then a times six times 17. So that's actually 11 in one shot. This was an eight. Damn, so at times 12, this one also definitely deserves a rewind as it is the highest which we got our hands on right now. So yeah guys, as you can see, this is pretty impressive. So you can definitely tell that this is a lot of fun, but let's add some artifacts into the mix. The Thundery Quiver, the Torment Quiver, and also the Fireworks Arrow. Guys, let's check it out. So first off, the Thundery Quiver. Wow, look at those lightning beams. This is pretty impressive. I also want to check out how it looks if we just shoot away from the target demi. Look at all those bolts, man. Oh, this is going to be devastating on uh, the battlefield. Next up, we have the Torment Quiver. This one is probably my favorite of all three, but I think the fireworks arrows are going to be insane to see as well. So uh, here we go. Oh, poor foxes. They almost got annihilated right there. But uh, this is how it looks when we shoot away from the target enemy. Imagine having dynamo built in all these as well. That is going to be so crazy. And then last but not least, we also have the firework rockets. Let's hope that my game doesn't crash. 
Oh, that is impressive, guys. All right, let me just um, wait for another recharge as showed to this little block right there. Here we go. Bam! Oh man, this is gonna be so nice to use against a boss. So uh, why not check it out, guys? Let's go to the redstone mines and try to take down the redstone boss with it. Actually, let's do this on the highest apocalypse plus difficulty. I am very curious if we can one hit kill him. Oh guys, we actually have an other man after us. Let's wait for a fireworks arrow to recharge and try to kill this bad boy with only one shot. So here we go. Oh boy, that was happy new year for him. Big time. Okay, so we have more victims right here. Let's check it out. Bam! Here we go. Easy peasy. All right, I'm also going to check out the thundering quiver since this one is so much fun as well. Oh, this one, of course, has the least impact. Still, though, is very cool to use. You also have five arrows, so that definitely makes up for it. And ah, merci beaucoup, mon ami. He just dropped some gear for me. Wow, man, this is so savage. Once again, we're going to use the fireworks arrow. Bam, we can just insta-kill every single mob in our path. Looks like the Torment Quiver is ready as well, so let's get to the boss, guys. I can't wait to show this guy who is the real boss. Alright, here we go. Torment Quiver activated. There he comes. Okay, that was extremely sad. That was extremely sad. Look at that, we barely tickle him. So um, I think we're gonna have to wait for the Fireworks Arrows to do the job for this. Okay, here they come, guys. Prepare yourselves. Okay, it wasn't a one-hit kill, nevertheless though, very impressive. The lightnings are also a lot of fun. If we stand close enough, we can actually deal a decent amount of damage. Bam! There we go. Alright guys, we can leave the mine. I think we already did plenty of damage with these arrows. 765 million damage dealt. Wow, that's just uh, fantastic. Thanks for the corrupted beacon. All right, guys, so uh, we can definitely tell that the harp crossbow with quadruple multi-shot is tons and tons of fun. I mean, this one definitely packs a punch, but um, I think the coolest one with the most damage is definitely the fireworks arrow. So let's just check out every each of them one more time. I think the thundering looks a lot cooler than you would think, especially if you stand really close. It's like a lightning shotgun, but um, let's just deplete our arrows for a second. Then we also have the torment quiver with, in my opinion, the the least impact. I think this one is going to work out very well in combination with a dynamo. Guys, this actually brings me to a new idea. Quadruple dynamo on a weapon. Oh boy, that's going to be so nice. But then, of course, also the firework rockets. I'm actually just going to stand right here and shoot it against the wall of this house. I think it's going to look pretty impressive. Bam! Guys, Happy New Year! Big thanks for watching. That was the quadruple multi shot. Right now, though, I'm going to say farewell to this harp crossbow. I'll see you guys very soon. All right, so there you have it a very overpowered enchantment combo. What did you think of this one? Any ideas for the next showcase? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And of course, a big thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It is entirely free and a lot more is coming your way. Remember, I do this for showcase purposes only and delete every item in the end. We don't allow modded items on the Discord and cheating can get you banned. Right now though, it's 4am out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.